time to blow a cloud. We got somebody about. Attention Dunwall citizens, a mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect, non-compliant. Samuel, he's going to show me how to steer this boat. Samuel and I were worried about you, Corvo. Ready when you are. This place is rotten. Samuel says the hound pits is nicer. An old lady helped me find my way to the boat. She seemed a little strange, though. She, she sees, sees more than she's, she's telling. telling. Young lady Emily. Emily. Poor Emily. Her childhood is lost. She has become a pawn in the games of men. She was bribed with sweet biscuits and ox milk, calmed with stories of magic and seafaring, all to keep her sane in a time of turmoil. She hides her fears. She seeks someone to trust. She clings to her childhood things. They bring her only brief comfort. She sees more than she's telling. Young Lady Emily. Poor Emily. Her childhood is lost. She has become a pawn in the games of men. Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. 
pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon, but for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. you don't have much time, but don't forget to upgrade your gear with Piero, if you like. Ask me for any gear you need. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spymaster, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Sokolov's elixir have reached a critical low point. Ordinary citizens will be limited to purchasing half a dose per day. Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lackey. I suppose this means I'll have to have children, or else recognize one of my bastards. This will be a new beginning for the Pendletons. I'll make sure of that. Lord of Pendleton Manor. If Waverly could see me now.
I hope his lordship is taking this well. Pendleton, I mean. I do worry about the poor man. I'll be giving your quarters a good scrubbing. I hope you don't mind having a lady in your room. I envy your trip to the Golden Cat. They must have gorgeous gowns. You startled me. You moved so silently, you could have been a dancer. A night at the Golden Cat, Corvo. I wonder if it's your first time. It is a difficult time for the family. Perhaps we should not speak. I must fetch the mourning garments. His lordship has never looked well in black. If only there had been another way. I have always hoped to see the Pendleton name redeemed. For the first time in years, it seems possible. in their work. The city is not yet secure. Hello, Mr. Corvo. I'll be getting on with my work then. The Admiral says sound travels for miles over water. I'm afraid even to sneeze. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? I feel like a ghost. I've been practicing my curtsy, but it's not going well. I don't mind helping Wallace. He gives me the dirty work, but that's what I do. I'm accepting of that. Someone has to do it, right? All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. Sokolov's unpredictable. And as head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy, he's an odd bird, to be sure. You showed skill in dealing with the Pendletons. I'm impressed. When a fight starts in a brothel, well, I've seen it go poorly. Gamble's journal. You know Sokolov. It's amazing how many They say genius and laughing. madness are so finely balanced really in his personality that Abbey. no one can tell the difference. Sokolov's on the bridge right now, but he's given to late night wanderings. Best to move as soon as possible. He's one of the keys to this puzzle, to putting things right. Not that the streets around us are pleasant, but there's no rioting, at least. It's better that we're hidden here in one of the more desolated sections of the city. The city watch, or stilt walkers, in their work. The city is not yet secure.
If we could bring him to our side, think what he and Piero could accomplish together. Your work at the Golden Cat was something for the poets, Corvo. Both targets eliminated and Emily delivered to us without so much as a bump or a bruise. The city is better off without the men you took care of, those loudish twins. And now, Lord Pendleton can slow the Lord Regent down in Parliament. Gum up the works. Bit by bit, we're winning. Let's just hope the city lasts long enough for us to make things right again. Bit by bit, we're winning. Let's just hope the city lasts long enough for us to make things right again. right now of course we can give you the tour later when you've rested I was wondering do you think my mother is really dead I saw her get stabbed but maybe she was still alive and got better is that possible I'm sorry Emily but no she did not survive oh did you go to her funeral was it fancy and beautiful a train of carriages rode through the city it was very beautiful Flowers everywhere, and thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. I've been planning for Emily. Lesson plans are together. A schedule is prepared. We will make life as normal as possible here. The horror she has seen. But all that's almost over. Now is my time to show my worth in this coalition. I knew this was why they brought me here, but I didn't want to say it out loud lest it not happen. Superstitious, I know. I mean, this place isn't as pretty as the Golden Cat, but I like it better anyway. You can see the tower across the river from here. That's where my mother died. Sometimes I wonder about the man who stabbed my mother. Who was he? So I get to stay in the smaller tower while I live here. That'll be good practice. I like Samuel. Perhaps we can take another boat ride soon. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? 
Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right, we'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Turn off those floodlights, then grab Mr. Sokolov and whatever else you need. At the arches under Sokolov's apartments, Corvo. That's where I'll be. Nobody allowed to be just wandering about, except us guards. Yeah, I know, I know. But if we do see someone, then what? Do we say something? Remind them about mm. curfew? No, you don't remind them. You chase them down, and you give them a severely deadly beating is what. Okay, yeah, I got it. Ain't no point in yelling at me. Severely deadly beating. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the Regent, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. 
Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. by the overseers for some black magic nonsense? <clears throat> and visitors to our city. By order of the Regent, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. I Attention all citizens. No pedestrian Not movement is allowed walks. along Caldwin's Bridge the during this period. Structure. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Seek of the bridge for solace. Ruined men, abandoned women, and 
plague victims have all left from here. Rats into everything. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the Regent, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise.
curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. in this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul-smelling as a witch's bottom. The royal physician will be fine too until he crosses the wrong man.